Python is awesome. You can use it to play Warzone using a Nerf gun. Dude, no, no. <laughs> turn Roombas into flamethrowers. And with a bit of creativity, you can make it so that you never run out of storage again on your computer. Somebody make this an app for storing anything as a video. Shameless plug aside, Python is an awesome general purpose programming language that reads a lot like English. And because it reads so much like English, it makes it really easy to pick up compared to other programming languages. And for the longest time, when someone would ask me what programming language should I learn first, I would always reply with, just learn Python. But recently, my thoughts have changed. If you're completely new to programming and don't need to learn a specific programming language or simply don't know where to start, just learn JavaScript. Now, I'll be honest here. I think JavaScript is actually harder to learn than Python. There's some concepts here and there that are kind of strange, like passing functions as parameters for other functions. And compared to Python, the syntax for JavaScript is a lot further from being English-like. But don't let that scare you because it's nowhere as complex as learning a language like C++ for example. But with that being said, I think that you can get a lot more out of JavaScript, which makes it a very attractive quality for a first programming language. Traditionally, JavaScript is a web language. And if you're at all familiar with JavaScript, you know that whenever you want to build a website, you use HTML, CSS, and of course, JavaScript. But if you're not interested in learning how to build websites, should you still learn how to use JavaScript? And the answer to that is yes, of course, because JavaScript is not only for building websites, at least not modern JavaScript anymore. You can build mobile apps that run on both Android and iOS with one single language using frameworks like React Native. You can use desktop apps that run on your computer using Electron. And with the help of Node.js, you can even build server-side and command line applications. In fact, some of the programs that you probably use already on a daily basis are built using JavaScript, such as Instagram, VS Code, Discord, and even Skype. So you can already start to see the possibilities you get out of learning one single language. Now sure, this is really cool if you're trying to build the next Instagram or the next Discord. However, a lot of people that are learning to program get it into programming because they want to land one of those awesome six-figure salary tech jobs. And guess what? JavaScript is actually full of opportunities. GitHub, which is probably the largest host of code repositories on the internet, releases stats every year. And amongst those stats, you can find the trend of the top programming languages over the years. And guess which which language is on top. And this right away tells you about the popularity of JavaScript. And trust me, that's no different from the job market. Now, going back to apps like Instagram and Discord, something you might have noticed is how nice of a UI these programs have. And building UIs with web technologies is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> And sure, if you want to go ahead and build UIs using web technologies, then you have to learn more things like HTML and CSS, but trust me, learning those things are well worth it. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's used to create the structure for your user interfaces. CSS, on the other hand, stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's used to style the user interfaces that you create with your HTML. And to be honest with you, working with HTML and CSS is far better than working with Python, for example, and some UI library. And this comes down to the fact that programming languages like Python are used to implement logic. And as such, it doesn't come very natural to use a programming language that is used to implement logic to write user interfaces. Let's take this as an example. Let's build a simple Hello World program using Python and PyQt, which is a popular third-party UI library. First, let's import all of the required modules. Let's define our application, a container for our contents, and create the hello world text to display. Then let's finish it off by writing the code to execute our program. Now let's do the same thing using HTML. First, we create a div for our container. And now let's create a header element with our hello world text. That's it. Now sure, there's a lot more things going on under the hood for the HTML part, but that abstraction is what makes it very easy to implement. 
And overall, I have found that working with HTML and CSS to build user interfaces is a lot better of a user experience than using a formal programming language. It should go without saying, but the web is just so important today that it's not going away anytime soon. And with the rise of Web3, the use of JavaScript is just going to skyrocket. So you really can't go wrong with learning JavaScript as your first programming language. Now, I should say that regardless of which programming language you learn first, you really can't go wrong with any of them because the concepts that you will learn while learning these programming languages, such as conditional statements, loops, variables, and all that stuff, will actually transfer over to other languages. However, it's very hard to ignore all of the positive that you get by learning JavaScript. If you're new to this channel and you're enjoying the content so far, consider subscribing. We're just shy of 2,000 subscribers. And with that said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.